Hey Gamecocks, my name is Julie Skinner and I'm a graduate assistant in the Office of Public Relations. Did you know that Jacksonville State University has classes that aren't only mentally stimulating but physically stimulating as well, such as yoga, swing dance, alpine skiing, and aqua aerobics. To check out these classes and more, go to the website www.jsu.edu. Hi, I'm Lauren Cunningham, a communication student and student worker in the Office of Public Relations. Thank you for watching the Gamecock News Network. Our goal is to help you stay informed about what's happening at your university. You can also stay informed by visiting JSU's public relations website, jsunews.com. The student body recently elected new SGA officers and personalities. Student voting was light, with only 13% of the students casting votes in the election. Elected SGA president for the second time in his college career was Bryant Whaley, a senior political science major from Roanoke. Whaley defeated Benjamin Puckett in a very narrow race, separated by only 20 votes. Tori Green ran unopposed in the vice president of student senate race and will fill that position. Green is also a political science major. He is a sophomore from Huntsville. Araya Jackson, a biology major from Lynette, Alabama, upset Jason Sumner, current vice president of student activities, in the race for vice president of organizational affairs. Jackson defeated Sumner by a margin of 100 votes. In the most widely sought executive officer race, vice president of student activities, a runoff was held between Drew Hall and Jade Scott, a secondary education major from Huntsville. Hall, a senior education major, defeated Scott by a margin of 110 votes. In the race for campus personalities, Drew Hall and Haley Hendricks were elected Mr. and Miss Friendly. Logan Huggins and Beth Milam were selected the new Mr. and Miss Jack State. Huggins is a junior communications major from Aniston, and Milam is a sophomore recreation leadership major from Trustville. Also elected were 28 SGA Senators. As finals approach, many students will be looking for a quiet place to study. Beginning Sunday, April 17th, the Houston Cole Library, including the 10th floor computer lab, will be staffed and open until 1 a.m. to provide students with a place to study. This is a pilot program meant to meet the needs of students who have asked for longer library hours. All other library services, including the reference and circulation desks, will shut down as usual at 11 p.m. Jasmine's Cafe will also close at 11. Jacksonville State University's Spring 2011 Graduation Ceremony will be Friday, April 29th at JSC Stadium at 6.30 p.m. The commencement address will be delivered by Alabama Governor Robert Bentley. Candidates for graduation may find complete information on the Office of the Registrar website. Jacksonville State University Television Services produced live television coverage of all JSU commencement ceremonies and also offers archived video on the web for two weeks following commencement. For more information, visit the JSU website. And now to Jasmine George for an update on sports and some exciting activities leading up to the spring game. Hi, I'm Jasmine George, an undergraduate assistant in the Office of Public Relations, and welcome to Gamecock Sports. In today's news, the Gamecocks baseball team rallied for a 13-10 win over UAB on Tuesday, April the 5th. Andrew Bishop went 3 for 4 and hit his first career home run, leading Jack State to the win. The team will return to action this weekend with a three-game Ohio Valley Conference Series at Murray State. Saturday's doubleheader will begin at 1 p.m., while Sunday single game will also start at 1 p.m. In the track and field world, LaVita Oliver has been named Ohio Valley Conference Female Track Athlete of the Week. She's a sophomore from Orange Park, Florida, and the people here at Gamecock Network News would like to congratulate her on this accomplishment. It's now time to spring back into football. The Gamecocks have been gearing up for the spring game that will be held April 15th at JSU Birds of Snow Field. To prepare for the game, the athletes of JSU will host an ultimate fan week dedicated to the students of JSU and to highlight the Gamecock football players. Monday, April 11th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., meet us on the TMB line to see are you tougher than the athlete? You, the fans, will get to compete against the Gamecock athletes to see who's really tougher. Thursday, April 14th, from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., meet us in Jack Hopper Dining Hall, also known as the CAF. You get a chance to come out and eat with your favorite team, and don't forget to bring your cameras for some great photo opportunities. Friday, April 15th, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., 
meet us in the tailgate area by the stadium. There will be a student tailgate party, so pull out your chairs, your grills, and come out and have fun in the sun. Music will be provided by Jacoby Park, so no need to worry about bringing your radios. Immediately after the tailgate, make sure you go and support the Gamecocks in their spring game. Well, that's all for my report, folks. Make sure you come out this week and show your support. And remember, it's peace, love, and Gamecocks. Back to you, Lauren. Thank you for watching the Gamecock News Network. Go Gamecocks!